Well, hello, it's Nico from the band Horticulture. Good to see you. Today, I just wanna give you an update on where we're at right now on the next song that we're working on. So good news is that um, we were finally able to get some more progress done this past weekend. Um, normally, I go to Eric's studio where we do all of the post-production and mixing and mastering, but the last two weeks before this, we hadn't been able to get anything done. Um, he has been very busy. He's been taking on a lot of paid projects for mixing and all that. And right now that's his only income. So he needs to take that. That's important. Um, you know, it's, it's easy to get caught up selfishly. I'll just say it's easy to get like, frustrated because it's like I have these arbitrary deadlines that I'll make for myself. I'm like, oh, I wanted it to come out you know, at the end of this month or something like that. But no one made that deadline besides me. It's mine, right? So I can change it. I'd love to get these songs out to you as fast as possible, but they also need to be part of a realistic timeline that involves like everything else going on in our lives, like any other work or sources of income or, you know, events or things need to be considered. And so that's one of the things that I know I wrestle with a lot is setting these deadlines or goals, timelines, and then feeling like I never, um, I'm never able to meet them. And I guess it just shows that it's like my, my timelines and stuff are very unrealistic, I guess. So I need to get better at setting more realistic timelines as opposed to sort of um, aspirational ones. Like, ooh, it'd be so cool if we get that done in two weeks. Eh, not gonna happen. But uh, so yeah, we are working on, as I said, our next song. Um, I think this would be song number four, I think, yes. And I mentioned in a previous video that we actually had five recorded and ready to go. Um, and ready to go, I mean ready to be mixed and released. Uh, but there's still a lot of work that happens in that stage. So we have one more in the pipeline that's already been recorded, and then we'll just need to obviously do mixing and stuff after that. And then we considered maybe recording a, a sixth song a little bit later and trying to release that by the end of the year too. But maybe those kind of deadlines are back to what I talked about. Maybe that's too much to put on our plate, at least in the current circumstances. So we'll, we'll see. All I'm saying right now is I'd like to do that. Whether or not we get to do that, I guess we'll find out together, won't we? So back to this recent weekend, um, I was able to go to Eric's. We were able to get some work done. I did take a couple of uh, clips from this last mixing session we did. I also have a couple, and I don't think I've shared those with you. I think I put them on Instagram, um, of some videos we took from a, the last session we had before that, which was uh, two, two or three weeks ago. So here's some of that. What's so funny about these hi-hats, right? Is mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not listening to like the EQ necessarily. Um, I'm listening to like how high they are in the stereo field, in the field. So like if you add lo low end EQ, you start to hear the hi-hats go down. Mm -hmm. And then when you take away low end, you make them more tinny and more hi hatty you can start to hear them go up. So I'm trying to match exactly where they are in the space. Like vertically? Vertically, yeah. Vertically. Huh, vertical stereo image, interesting. Yep. that in so last time so this recent time uh, we were finalizing the vocals we, we kind of thought we dialed them in last time but as you know for a pop song I mean, which is basically what we're trying to do, even if it's like dark or if it's edgy or whatever, has an alternative thing or a rock influence, it's still poppy, which in terms of the mix, 
meaning the vocals have to be center stage and they have to sound great, otherwise you don't have a very good pop mix. Um, drums and vocals, basically, because it's got to be danceable and you got to be able to hear the vocals and sing it and all that. So we thought we had them all dialed in a couple weeks ago, but it turns out when we opened the session after a few weeks of having our ears rest, we open it up again. We're like, hmm, I don't know. It's not. It's it's not quite there. And so we had to do a lot of work to hone them into the place where we want them to be, where they sound smooth and they sound you know, um, lush and really cool. And um, I think Eric did a great job. Um, had to solve a lot of frequency problems and other things. There was some harshness in it. And so we were able to, um, you know, step by step, sort of some of its uh, trial and error, but we figured out kind of some what the some of the issues were that we were hearing and we got those dialed back. And now I think they sound pretty damn good. So I'm excited about that. We also uh, moved into doing the bass, which I think is the next most prominent aspect of this particular mix. It's going to be a very, very um, almost melodic aspect of this mix. It's not just like a sub frequency as a lot of, you know, bass can be, but this is also, um, it's going to occupy more of a melodic, almost more of a melodic range. So we're trying to dial that in and there's a couple different layers of bass, um, which I think I have an example of that. So maybe you could hear that, maybe you couldn't, depending if you're listening on the phone or listening on a computer or on your headphones or whatever, but I think there's a couple different layers of bass and they all kind of complement each other to add a different texture or a different frequency range or a different sort of approach to it. Some things have higher attacks, some things are um, like uh, more distorted, some things you know op occupying a little more of the low end or kind of a knocking sound, which I know may sound funny, but you know, that's what we're kind of looking for, for like tonally. So yeah, I think things are going uh, pretty well. My big thing, as I already mentioned, is that um, I'm always that person that wants things to be moving faster than is probably feasible, than is realistic, than is possible considering everything else going on in our lives. Like if we weren't doing anything else, then yeah, we could do this every day and we could get this thing pumped out, but um, that's not life. We have a lot of other things going on um, and we got to be, I have to be considerate of that. I, uh, I'm the one who forgets a lot. So that's, that's my issue. But otherwise I'm very pleased with the progress and I'm, I'm very much looking forward to being able to release it and to show it to you whenever it's done. Um, I guess I, one thing I have to learn here is to not, to, um, you know, tell you ahead of time and to commit to like some sort of date where I'm like, oh yeah, absolutely 100%, you know, we're gonna release it on this day. So um, right now I'm loosely shooting for July, loosely July. So hopefully we can make that. If not, I'll let you know and I'll tell you why, but you know, life probably. But Anyway, hope you uh, enjoyed seeing a little bit of that progress. If you hadn't seen those clips before, I haven't shared them on the YouTube channel. So um, there you go. That's where we're at, uh, making good progress, but slow, but good. All right, hope you're staying safe. Hope you're remaining healthy and uh, you're feeling as good as you possibly can during these times. So. Thanks for watching, and I will talk to you next time. Bye.